Hoovers. Eric Persing of Spectrasonics used to work at Roland. He made a patch for the Roland Alpha Juno series called What The? That particular patch was on loads of early techno records. Second phase Mentasm, Human Resource Dominator, The Prodigy, Charlie. And it was sampled loads of times. And it's basically been a mainstay in electronic music ever since. Now something that's interesting to me is that I've heard a lot of people say that the only way to get these kinds of sounds is to use a genuine Alpha Juno keyboard, which I totally refute that's not true this is a pretty simple patch that you can do with loads and loads of different synths so let's break this into the most simple components possible so that you can recreate it with whichever synth you choose okay so i'm starting with an initialized preset so i just have a simple sawtooth oscillator the first thing is that on the original Alpha Juno What The patch, the oscillator has this buzzy quality. Now the way that's achieved on the original patch is using pulse width modulation. That means you have a square shaped oscillator and the width of that square waveform is modulated by an LFO. However, that's not the only acceptable way to produce that kind of sound. In my opinion, there are three very simple ways to do this. One is using the square wave with pulse width modulation. Two is the method I'm about to use, which is where you take two sawtooths and detune them from each other. Let's do that quickly now. Although if you're going to be using that method you need to go over to the global page on Serum and turn the unison width down to zero. The third option is to increase the unison voices much higher. You get a much thicker washier tone. But for now let's just use the two oscillators. We then need another oscillator, one octave below this oscillator. Well, it's a pair of oscillators, but you get what I mean. And on the original What The Patch, this is a triangle wave. You can use a square wave. It's a much harder sound, a much harsher character. Or just use the triangle wave, which is smoother and a lot more authentic. So far, so good. Now we need another oscillator. Well, it's going to be a pair of oscillators again. One octave above oscillator A. And I'm going to pair that up to make it buzzy in the same way that I did with the original oscillator, oscillator A. Now how much detune should you use? Well that's totally down to your taste. An interesting thing is that a great number of classic dance records that use hoover sounds don't use the basic raw original what the patch, they actually use edits of that patch. And oftentimes the detune amount is one of the things that's been tweaked. Now as I said originally, the detune effect on the oscillator on the original Alpha Juno what the patch is achieved with pulse width modulation. But that's not important for what we're doing right now. you can set the detune to whatever suits your riff. Now those are the main ingredients to get the basic sound, but the original patch also had a bit of white noise mixed in, so let's emulate that. It just adds a little bit of fuzz to the character. Nothing too abrasive. Now it's a good idea to modulate the pitch as well. And you can modulate that pitch in numerous ways. I'm just using LFO1. I don't even know what shape I will end up with. There's just so many options. It's not even worth attempting to get into all of the different options that we have here. And lastly, the original What The Patch had chorus on it, so let's have a go at some chorus as well. Now the way I like to do chorus for this kind of patch is to use 100% wet mix on the chorus just while I'm tuning the sound of the chorus itself. I'm basically just looking for a hoovery sound. Something a little like that. We can mix in some dry as well. Totally to taste. <laughs> and 
And I would suggest once you've got a sound you like, you can sample it like this. And then drop that sound into the sampler and find a nice start point for that sample. And then stack on whatever effects you fancy.